Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at the quilts 2020 that I finalized. Uh, the first quilt that you're looking at here is a Star is Born quilt. It is from a book called uh, Charming Baby Quilt and is published by So It's So Emma from Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, it's using uh, HSTs and it was quite simple to make. I made a baby version one and I also quilted it uh, myself. I used stippling and um, I also um, bound it on the machine. Uh, here you can see that I made uh, my own personal backing and uh, I love to do these small type of quilts because then I can try out the different techniques. Uh, the fabric is fig tree and here are the information about the quilt. The next quilt we're going to look at is a Christmas quilt. It's called 5440 or Fight Freestyle. Uh, I found this pattern on YouTube. It was made by Missouri Star Quilt Company by the lovely Jenny Doan. And uh, for those of you who have watched her uh, fantastic uh, tutorials, you know how uh, great they are to make. And this was actually quite super easy. I would highly recommend that you look at it. Um, I uh, had this quilt long armed uh, and I wanted to have a Christmassy um, style. And also I made a little personalized note there where I um, uh, added my uh, name to the quilt. I put on a little larger border and I think it came together quite nicely. I don't know, I hope you will enjoy this quilt too. And now we're going to move over to my next quilt and this is something of a love-hate relationship. Uh, I wanted to make a basket quilt and I tried out different types of basket blocks and uh, then I fell for this one and I made it in the Sweet Blend fabric collection that uh, Edita Setar has made. Uh, I have ripped this many times so it took me about three years to make it and finally when I found the right background uh, I used my home machine and I did some stippling and then just stitch in a ditch simple um, versions and uh, quilting uh, on the basket blocks um, the backing is from bed of roses and here's my personalized uh, and <laughs> little note and you can see that 2017 18 and then 20 so yeah it took me three years it was uh, lying in my cupboard for one year so perhaps i should have said four years but here it is, I'm super happy that it's finished and here are the information about this quilt. I also made another quilt, uh, also Christmas um, edition and this is uh, actually a quilt that I was uh, very uh, enthusiastic to make. I wasn't quite sure how to do it. Uh, I watched uh, Instagram and Tanya from Instagram she really inspired me to do a quilt like this but I wanted to have mine super scrappy so I bought uh, a bundle of different kind of greens and I sort of made it up as I went along I quilted this on my home machine as well and I absolutely adore these uh, trees my daughter she claimed it uh, as soon as it was finished and I don't blame her I'm super happy with it and the blocks came together quite easy as I said and there's a small tutorial on my um, uh, channel for this and here's another name tag then I love to personalize my name tags on all my quilts it's just a little finishing touch and as you can see on the backing I used uh, little Santas I thought that was quite cute and here is the uh, information on the quilt um, itself. Now the next one is my absolute unicorn. I can talk about this quilt for hours. I will not. I will let it speak for itself. This is a block of the month um, that I have purchased myself. 
I purchased it from Sewing Quilt in the UK. Uh, it's uh, 12 months and I bought the add-on kit and it's an EPP, uh, English paper piecing quilt. And every morning when I wake up and I have a look at this quilt I find something new that I fall in love with and uh, it's absolutely stunning. Another thing that I did myself was that I added here on the border an extra uh, add-on to the outside of this color. And I wanted it not to be cut off, I wanted to actually see um, the last row of the EPP. And then I added an extra uh, 4 inch border of white then to contrast to the binding and the binding then is the same as in the little small squares. I will just let you enjoy this. And I can say as much as um, uh, I have a confession to make. <laughs> I have actually signed up for another year of this uh, because I love it so much. But I'm thinking actually of switching out the colors uh, between the blocks. And the backing is equally as lovely. It's from Laundry Basket Quilts from her Bed of Roses collection. And um, it's quilted on a long arm by uh, Eva Hauge. So I put quite a lot of time and effort into this and I'm super in love with this. This is my absolute unicorn. And here is the information about the quilt itself. So many of you know that I uh, traveled to Sweden for Christmas. I was lucky enough to be able to go home and see my son. I had a lot of quilts quilted, among others this one. And I didn't manage to get it with me back to Tokyo. But it's a block of the month um, made by Kerry Nelson for Fat Quarter Shop. And uh, it was... Um, really nice um, quilt to make because I learned many new skills and here's another um, quilt that I made it's also in Sweden and as you can see I really went to, to town with all the quilting here I asked Eva to find me the cutest little spider and of course I think that goes tone in tone with this Halloween inspired quilt and it's starlight quilt and the designer then is Camille Roskelly from Thimble Blossoms. And this is also another Thimble Blossoms um, purchase takes the cake. And I actually cut up my marmalade uh, layer cake and it's quilted by Eva as well. It's a little ruby uh, collection on the backside. Now this is quite interesting. I saw this on Fat Quarter Shop and I was like this I really want to make so what I did was that I bought the panel and I had Eva just quilted with a minky back and it turned out absolutely gorgeous and I really love it. The only downside is that I don't get to cuddle it until next Christmas but at least then I have something to look forward to right. So here is California quilt this is also something that is in Sweden. I had it quilted in the UK by the marvelous Trudy Wood. She's absolutely amazing. Can you just look at this border? Just a marvel over this border and all the quilting. Uh, my husband actually took this footage and he sent it to me. That's why it's in a different size. But I just wanted you to take a look at this quilting. And this quilt then, California quilt by Laundry Basket quilts uh, it enables you to choose what you want to do with your border and uh, that is the fantastic thing about this you can personalize and do whatever you want and here I added an extra wide border because I wanted to have this amazing quilting so I will just let you admire this quilt as well I hope by this that I have inspired you to sew any quilts that I have made or if you have any questions then please let me know 
otherwise thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time bye